Welcome back to Excel, guys. Now, I'm excited to introduce you to a new feature. We're going to be talking to the creators, the musicians, the designers, the artists, the photographers whose love for the game comes out in their work. And today I get to speak with Toronto artist Esma Mahmoud, whose exhibit is being displayed here at the AGO. I know as an artist, you love having the work do the speaking, but I want to start a little bit about your journey. Um, when did you find out that you really wanted to pursue the art? Well, I think I'd been making art since I was about six years old, um, but I knew that I officially wanted to do it probably by like the 10th grade. I was like always in art classes and I just always was doing art even outside of class. And I was like, I think I could probably be an artist. <laughs> me it was like it was less of just this thing that I did as more as something that I actually thought I could make something out of. Let's it's talk a little bit about the collection that we're sitting besides. Sure so um, the dresses are an object assemblage a mixture of both ball gown dresses with basketball jerseys um, specifically Carter's jersey when he played for the Raptors. The piece basically came about from the conversation that I had with my collaborator Chentrum Hody um, when we began to talk about a childhood experience that I had as a kid when I really wanted to go outside and play and my mom's like if you want to play you got to take off the jersey and put on a dress and I was like rolling my eyes and then I went upstairs <laughs> put on a dress and then put the jersey over top and then my mom was like you're not one of the boys so that phrase you're not one of the boys really really stuck with me and um, even to this day now being 24 years old I'm just like what did that really mean for me then trying to formulate my identity around gender and around race and what did that really mean for me. Reflecting back on it now, I really worked um, really closely with Kendrum to really create um, an object that really spoke to both masculinity but also to femininity. I've always loved Vince Carter, I was a huge Raptors fan and I wanted to be Vince Carter at one point in time. Um, I mean, still, still a bit want to be Vince Carter, but um, anyways, that was the actual jersey that my mom had told me to take off um, and had discarded of, so um, that memory of the Vince jersey kind of always stuck with me. There are 60 concrete basketballs in this set, Heavy Heavy Hoop Dreams. Um, originally, when I was making them, I think I made over 100. Um, and then I selected the best 60 from that because I was thinking about the NBA draft. 30 men get employed to the NBA. And I was looking at 30 and for some reason, like visually, it didn't feel heavy enough to me. There's 60 guys sitting here and only 30 of them will make it. I was really focused on having all 60 balls and then visually that felt just as heavy as the actual concept did. So, um, they weigh a lot. They do, the entire <laughs> installation weighs 1,800 pounds. Wow. Originally, when I was making the basketball dresses, I was a little bit concerned that the exhibition for pretty much its entirety would lack black bodies in the space. And to me, it's really important to integrate race within athleticism. And it's really important to acknowledge that black bodies occupy spaces, especially spaces like the AGO. Um, so it was really important for me to photograph them and the dresses at the AGO before the installation is even put up. Although the dresses are vacant, it is important that when viewers come into the gallery, they see that black bodies occupied these, these, these objects and that they navigated these spaces, and that's really important to me. Why basketball? Why was that the outlet for you creatively? How, how, does it, how did it come into your life? Well, I was really interested in black masculinity in general, but I was always trying to figure out an approach to accessing black masculinity and being able to talk about multiple issues such as um, violence, fragility, endurance, resilience. And the way that I like it instantly clicked was through the realm of athleticism. Mm -hmm. And basketball was such a prevalent sport in my upbringing. My, all my brothers played basketball. Like it was so, so vital to my coming up. So I was just like, there's no better sport than, than basketball.